peeps, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And I am here today with another exciting box from Scroller Box. If this is the first time you've seen one of my Scroller Box videos, that means that you probably kind of know what Scroller Box is, you probably don't. But Scroller Box is an art subscription box. That means it is full of wonderful art supplies in this little box, but it is full of so many wonderfulness. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So this is what it looks like inside. All wrapped up nice and neat in some tissue paper. What? Look at this. So this is what I see when I automatically look inside. The really cool thing about Scrawler Box is in the box they include this little bookmark. And this bookmark goes ahead and tells me what type of supplies I have gotten, gives me a little bit of information about them, but most importantly it tells me what the brand is. Another thing that I have received is this beautiful piece of artwork and Scrawler Box actually tells me all about this artist on the back of this card. So this is just like a really pretty art like art postcard and everything and I can just, you know. It's a really cool looking bird though. <laughs> First of all, I have these four adorable little tubes of acrylic paint. So I've got a nice beautiful gold. Ah! <laughs> I've got some orange, I've got some yellow, and I've got some black. I have these beautiful CY of Brighton Artist Quality Brushes. <gasps> these are so nice and they're and they have really nice round tips and really, oh, I just love this. And on the back, it says that it can be used for watercolors, oil paint, and acrylic paint. Oh, I can already tell you right now, these are going to be my favorite watercolor brushes. And then, of course, I can use my handy dandy bookmark to tell me about this, which is a Toma acrylic marker. Oh, that's going to be nice, especially if I'm just sketching out on my canvases where I want stuff to go or to get like really nice fine lines on my canvases, then I can use this. This is fancy! Look at this! This is a Pentel Fiesta 0.7 mechanical pencil. I just feel like an architect with this thing. Hmm, yes, hello. Yes, I've got a fancy pencil. <laughs> and then Scrawler Box was amazing to go ahead and send me two pieces of this really nice paper, which is by, <laughs> I'm gonna try to pronounce this, Fabriano Pichara. So that means it's really nice thick paper that can handle heavy mediums like this fine acrylic paint. This is so cute. Use this palette to mix your paints, but don't use the brushes to blend them. Cut the corners off the sheet and use those to create new colors. So my favorite thing about Scrawler Box, on this beautiful handy dandy bookmark, on the back, there's something cool. It's the Scrawler Challenge. So every month, Scrawler Box goes ahead, puts a challenge on the back of their bookmark and gives you a prompt to use these art supplies that they supplied you with to make something interpreting the prompt that they give you. So this month's prompt is new beginnings. Hmm. So I'm just not going to show you these art supplies. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a time lapse and I'm going to show you how I would interpret new beginnings by only using these supplies that Scholar Box has sent to me in this month's box. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and let you guys get a better look on what's inside the box. Uh, well, except that it's not wrapped up in tissue paper anymore. But it comes with so many cool art supplies and it's always, ah, it's such a cool surprise when you finally take the tissue paper off. So when I was looking at the prompt on the back of the bookmark for the Scrawler Challenge, uh, thinking about new beginnings, and I looked over at the postcard that Scrawler Box sent me as well, and I saw the bird. So uh, automatically, once again, they were a main inspiration for how I would interpret new beginnings because when I think of new beginnings with these colors 
I thought of a phoenix and if you don't know what a phoenix is I'm pretty sure a lot of you do know what a phoenix is it's a, um, a fire bird that once it comes down to the end of its one life it is reborn in flames once again and it starts all over so it's really cool because it's like rising out of the ashes and everything and then a lot of school teams have phoenixes as their school mascots if you are a phoenix school mascot let me know down below I'm so jealous of you I never got to have any cool mascots that were phoenixes when I was in school but anyways this paint was really nice to work with um, it was nice and thick it wasn't cheap at all and I've worked with some pretty cheap acrylic paints in my past but this acrylic paint was really nice it was a, a, a little bit creamy and nice to work with it blended well and the colors are extremely bright like especially the orange and the yellow they're super bright and I was finding myself actually coming up with really good like color swatches different color swatches with just these four colors so it was almost like a four color challenge and I, I tried to just keep it in black gold yellow and orange and I just I was having a lot of fun making this Phoenix and the brushes oh my goodness these I'm not kidding you when I said it before these brushes are probably my new favorite brushes they're they're really nice and sometimes if you leave your brushes in a cup for a little while of time the brush tips will start to bend a little bit and I found myself I walked away from this and I came back and I realized that the brush tips were not bending so that was really awesome that they're really thick sturdy brushes and they're very nice and shiny to work with and I used the acrylic marker just a little bit um, to divide some of the flames together and to give a little bit more definition to the feathers but then again I went over it with some more paint because the feathers didn't look that natural with just little black lines but yes it this was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed making this phoenix for new beginnings so guys, I really hope you enjoyed that and I really hope you'll go and check out Scrawlerbox. I'm going to put their website down below in the info box as well as right here at the bottom of the screen as you can see. So you guys need to go and check out Scrawlerbox and join in on the fun with me in the Scrawler Challenge because how cool is it that I get to try all these fun new art supplies? Thank you so much, Scrawlerbox, once again for another incredible box full of amazing, amazing art supplies. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun sticker. And I hope to see you all later. Bye! Do, 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 do.